is going to impact the project management system? That is the question. Yes, my view, it will impact. I have given 11 points here. If you look at a very simple example, uh, there are different types of the projects I talk about. Maybe virtualization of the infrastructure, migrating the existing applications from traditional uh, infrastructure to a cloud environment which is virtualized. Uh, so if you take a, a development of the application, so that every project, what I talked here, three examples, have a different life cycle. Development project development application is a different life cycle. Migrating of the applications to the cloud environment has a different life cycle. That means different pages and costs and uh, deliverables, what products will be there. So I think the project life cycles have to be, probably if you look at 42 projects which I shared, <coughs> we'll have 42 project life cycles. So what is the work breakdown structure? This is one important element will get impacted. So we need to look at the global delivery model, which we basically, from India it is announced, is there an impact? I believe there is an impact. In the future slides, I am going to talk about it. Contract and procurement management will change when you partner with uh, different uh, cloud providers who are basically spread across multiple countries or multiple regions. So that piece is very critical because you are getting into contract with probably with some of the vendors like Amazon or Rackspace or Post.com. So, so the procurement management and contract management, the SLAs, the pricing models, and the terms and conditions will get impacted. Project managers have to really understand that. Project governance structure will get impacted. The best practices and case studies are different. For every uh, project you look at in the cloud environment, we have to understand lessons learned, checklist, estimation techniques. I talk about 42 different types of projects. You take an example of uh, probably um, migrating a public cloud and a private cloud. So how do you estimate such type of a project? Which is really very challenging. There are many unknowns and it's not like we have done many times. So whatever the different project is emerged or any changes in the existing projects uh, basically uh, we need to look at any estimation techniques needs to be re-looked at. Different skills needs to be learned by the teams and the project managers and also the regulatory and data security issues needs to be looked at. I also go to the extent, maybe this is a debatable, most of the people probably might be knowing, PMI has its body of knowledge. Nine knowledge areas are there. Is there any new knowledge area we can put in there? Maybe security or information management could be one of the tenth knowledge area I propose to PMI, which will probably be useful when you are executing in cloud environment. So just uh, expansion of the previous slide, Project life cycles, I am in slide number 32. Uh, work breakdown structure, phases and tasks. Maybe you will have new projects or the existing projects. If you take a typical example of development project, in a traditional way probably it takes three weeks or four weeks to get the infrastructure. Or sometimes three months or six months. So you have to sometimes procure the hardware, you have to put an order, and software licenses availability, there are not. But today, probably you might get in minutes or in hours or days because of the availability of this public cloud or within your own organization. So the six weeks or four weeks initial infrastructure setup activities got shrunk to probably three days. That itself is a work breakdown structure. The activities what you do in a typical conventional environment process, the cloud environment varies. That's where one example I'm just simply giving here work breakdown structure. Then the global delivery model, yes, I'll show in the next slide, it is going to get impact. I talk about uh, contract and procurement management, governance structure, best practices, lessons learned, and competency building engine, and so on and so forth. I'm directly jumping to slide number 34. This is very important to understand. Today also, so as India says, uh, we are best in global delivery model, but that was the probably in the past decade, but now the 2000, this decade, 2010 to 2020, I think the GDM will get transformed to a new shape because of this global computing. These are all my views. So the GDM, I just put it here, probably six areas which comprise basically global delivery model. The intelligent work breakdown structure, that means when you have the project, so how the project is distributed across the multiple locations. 
uh, multiple regions within our own organizations. Then cost optimization, abundant talent, follow the sun, quality management, knowledge, knowledge management, and continuous learning. Certainly, the breakdown structure will vary because you have now cloud providers are coming in. When you are basically distributing the work, you are not only distributing between your own data, between your own de development centers. Could be India, or could be Malaysia, or China, or uh, Brazil, whatever. Also, you are distributing part of the work to the cloud providers. That means the work breakdown structure will vary. Project managers have to understand how intelligently they can take down that work of this one project across multiple partners. That I think certainly will um, affect the quality management processes will change. Because of the cloud computing, the learning and knowledge management will get improved. So let us look at the extreme left part. In my view going forward in the global delivery model, um, so collaborate and compete. So there might be today uh, different uh, system integrators are available even from India. They are competing, but in my view, because of this cloud computing future, they have to also collaborate. The reason is, if some of the process platforms, somebody has a, a financial platform built on a cloud, X organization, probably another organization built a human capital management platform, uh, then customer might prefer to have a finance platform from one IT organization and uh, a cloud uh, HCM platform, human capital management platform from other uh, system integrator or IT provider. So it is mandatory that these two platforms have to talk each other. There might be a data transfer, there might be an integration between these two platforms. Remember you are a competitor. Uh, still you have to collaborate. This is where I foresee more and more these things will come in the global delivery model. Then in IT services or product development organizations more and more the infrastructure um, optimization and virtualization will be done. Private clouds will be built. That's where I think they will have um, a possibility of providing IT infrastructure to the, their employees at a faster pace. Even today, most of the organizations are doing that. So extended partners, I talked about the cloud providers. So it's not just your organization, your uh, existing partners. And there are extended partners like uh, a few examples like Amazon I talk about, Oracle or Salesforce or Rackspace or different partners. So that will be forming part of your uh, ecosystem. Then I fundamentally also believe the mobility and cloud in the new uh, era will play a role where global delivery model analytics, that means the intelligence about the projects which are distributed across multiple regions, the intelligence about the distributed teams, so on and so forth will play a role. And in the GDM, green will play a role because you are looking for an optimized IT infrastructure. So I think in summary, I fundamentally believe for this decade we have to prepare ourselves uh, to see that how cloud computing is going to change the global delivery model. In the previous slides I also talk about there will be different types of projects will get emerged and that also will impact different elements of the project management that also I touched upon. In the slide 35, in my view there are few skills what project managers have to refine to work 